Hello YouTube land and welcome to the Indiana Doug show. Okay, so let's get right to it. I am for the first time filing a hexa chain from scratch. Okay, so I have a hexa chain. I have a hexa file, steel hexa, right? And now I'm filing the chain into hexa. Okay. Round file. Okay, so that's round filed. This is an Oregon. No, actually, this is a X cut uh, C83 Husqvarna C83 X cut chain. Sorry about that. No, it's just because the gold. Uh, but anyway, uh, that is a round filed chain, as you can tell. So, what, what I'm going to do is see what you got to do here is it doesn't say on this box for some reason but the degrees here are different um from your standard you know where your witness mark is here god let me get something to point at you see your witness mark right here i think that's what 30 30 degrees maybe i believe it's 30 degrees and hexa is filed at 25 degrees i may be wrong on that but i believe it's just a five degrees variation okay so when, if you're going to try this yourself um keep that in mind you'll you'll have to look at that witness mark and actually cock it back about five degrees i'm just doing it by hand i'm not i'm not into all the you know oh you're off a half a degree i don't care you know because Hexa chain cuts faster than any round chain that I've experienced. Um, and um, so, you know, I want to try my own chain. So here we go. I'm going to file this one, and I don't have my tripod with me, so I'll bring you right back. Okay, so here's the top plate now. Okay, see how it it's a little bit, it's kicked out a little bit more than that witness mark. So that's the way that uh, hexa chain is is uh, filed. Just thought I'd show you that real quick. It's really dirty, but you get the idea. See, it's kicked out just a little bit there. Just you know, it's a difference of like 30 to 25 degrees. I may be off on those numbers. It might be 25 and 20 degrees. I can't remember, but. It's kicked out a little bit. Five more degrees. That's all you got to remember. Sorry, guys. This camera is all... It's, I'm all everywhere, but... I want to get that for you. That's pretty good right there. But see it? Let's switch to the other side again and see if we can see better. See, oh, yeah. Look here. Yeah, look at that. It better or not if I could keep still it's like I got the shakes or something <laughs> so you can still see the remnants of what used to be a round file on the bottom and that's what's throwing you off it's like an optical illusion I mean that thing is definitely not round you can see right there I mean it's chink chink so maybe we could go deeper and yeah, let's try it hang tight and i'll do that sorry guys i don't have my tripod and i wanted to just turn the camera on and show y'all real quick hang tight okay so we have the light here now let's see if this is any better yeah see that i think i know what i was doing wrong I'm really trying for you guys. Yeah, look at that. Look at that right there. Bam. Money. Honey. Let me go to the other side, see if we can get that. There's the vice. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Huh? Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Oh yeah, look here. Pretty nice. I like it. Okay, so there's a couple things. Let me zoom this back out. So there's a couple things. I don't think you're ever going to get... You'll get like 90% there on a hexa, I think. Because the first thing is, I believe that their chain is made specifically to receive this uh, profile. By that I mean, this chain is meant for a round profile. So the gullet, the gullet here, this is the perfect angle for this. Here, I'll zoom up again, because it's hard to see. See how the gullet is kind of rounded? So the gold's kind of rounded a little bit here, just a, just ever so much. I don't think hex is like that. I think it's perfectly straight up and down. Because I believe the uh, tooth might be a little smaller as well on a hexa chain. I, I know it is for a fact. It's a little smaller. The tooth, actually each tooth, each cutter, whatever you want to say, is... Uh, the entire cutter assembly here is actually from from here to here um, smaller than your typical 3 8 round chain not the curve I'm not talking about the curve the total the total cut I'm talking about just the tooth okay a 3 8 is longer from here to here, or bigger, or whatever. You know, I've been using it, and I tell you right now, this profile, there's something about it that it did it stay sharp for a really long time. I'm not sure why, but this it's very efficient profile. But uh, that's an actual hexa, so... Yeah, so the actual tooth does or I'm sorry the raker does kick over still it does kick over it's different but it does kick over and to me it seems like the from the top plate down seems a little longer could be wrong could be just the the, the tooth could be just that the tooth from here, from one side, from the right side to the left side is just a little, is shorter. I know it is. Here, here's a stock C83. I mean, they're both C83s. So this is a stock C83 right here. And it's it's been used, but it hasn't been sharpened. I just used it to, 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 I don't know, it was one or two cuts, and so here's a stock C83, so look at that, the hexa is longer and skinnier, it may not look like it's skinnier in this, but I know for, for a fact it is, in fact, Oh my God, you guys are making me work tonight. <laughs> I'm on one, aren't I? Okay, let me zoom this back out. This is driving me bananas. Okay, so we got a... I had to pick the dirtiest spot in the whole garage to make a video. This is C83X cut. Let's measure it. Oh goodness. Okay. That's 63, 63, 63, 64 thousandths. And hexa is, let's measure the same tooth. Sheesh. Okay. But 57, 58, 57 thousandths. 
Okay, so there's a, there's a difference between the tooth. Now the kerf is about the same, um, but the the tooth is smaller on a hexa. It is wider, you know, it's wider on uh, the uh, C83 X cut than it is hexa. Hexa is supposed to have a smaller tooth, so I don't know. That's what they say, and I verified it right there. So what are we getting at here? We're, I'm getting at you cannot make a perfect hexa chain with a little bit wider cutter, I don't think. You can make really close. Surely you can make it really close. I mean... But there's a difference there for a reason, and I'm not sure what that is. If anybody knows, then then let me know. I mean, I have 9 million pros out there commenting all the time, so let's hear what you got. <laughs> we need you this time. So, anyway, I love the C83 profile. It's, it's a really cool profile. That top plate's just like a hexa and then it comes down just barely and then it starts going into the the circle the round part you cannot get that you can't get that back in a uh with a round file you can't get it back i wish they'd make a a file for that see it right there see how it's just like hexa in the beginning Whoop. and then it just rounds out I love the C83 profile hexa or uh, C83 X cut. Gosh, twisting my words, guys. So anyway, the old 362. It's a good little saw. It does real well. Anyway, that's uh, that's going to be it, guys. Just thought I'd kind of show you my findings. So. Go get you if you can't afford the chain, at least go get you a file. You can make your own or very close to it, okay? See you next time.